Well, good morning, everybody. It's David George Brook, that gratitude guy with the daily gratitude business briefing for Monday, July 27th. And my goal certainly is to help people in the business world to inspire not only themselves, but their employees and people that they work with. And today's topic I want to spend just a couple of minutes on is the use of a daily gratitude journal. Certainly everything I talk about has to do with gratitude and how you frame your life. Gratitude helps you focus on what you have versus what you don't have. Gratitude turns what you have into enough, two of my favorite topics. But I take something like this, and this is my actual journal I sell myself, the Brooker's Daily Gratitude Journal, but it makes such a big difference. And as an owner or a manager or a supervisor, director, whoever it might be, one of the things we found out a long time ago in the business world and managing employees is a lot like raising children. You have to set a really good example if you want to be successful. So I want to just talk briefly about this journal as far as maybe an example that you could set. Here it is, what I've written in it every day as usual. I already written in it this morning, but I just want to show you briefly how this is structured. Gratitude today is the left-hand side of the page, the day and the date. Today is Monday, July 27th. The daily number is how you kind of take your temperature to decide 10 is the best day of your life, one is the you know, bad, bad day, and kind of where you are, that's where you get a flavor or a temperature, as I say. And then you've got about five or six lines to be what you're grateful for. It can be bullet points. It can be a sentence. It can be paragraphs, what have you. The highlight of the day is the best thing that happened to you. If you write in the morning, it's the best thing that happened to you yesterday. If you write in the evening, it's the best thing that happened to you on your day. And then the right-hand side is your gratitude intentions. And that's what's happened. That's what you're going to be grateful for that hasn't even happened yet. And you write it in the present tense. I'm so happy and so grateful that I got that promotion here at work. And so when you write in this, every single day. It gives you momentum. It helps you focus on it. And if you write that daily number, say you're a seven and a half and you're starting your day and then you write everything you're grateful for, the highlight of your day, your gratitude intentions. If you actually check your temperature again, so to speak, chances are it's gone up to an eight or eight and a half or nine or nine and a half, what have you. But that's the impact. And this takes five minutes. I've timed it many times, five, maybe six occasionally. But for doing that, you get that definite mindset of abundance that you're not going to get from other things. And that will follow through to watching your employees. You'll appreciate them more. You'll be grateful for them more. You'll have more respect for them and what they do. And we'll even talk in upcoming briefings about how we ask employees how to do things in terms of just, I need you to go do this because you work for me. So think about a gratitude journal. I'll put a, um, uh, put a link in the description below for how to get one from Amazon if you're interested. But think about a gratitude journal. It makes such a big difference for you and it'll also carry over to your employees as well. That's a gratitude briefing, uh, business briefing for today and uh, we will see you tomorrow. Remember, be grateful and never quit.